Hi, I'm Alain from the UOG group of Agent France and I'm with Hello, my name is Jana. Uh, I'm from Hradec Králové uh, in the Czech Republic and I'm the coordinator of the Active Citizens project in my city. So I heard that you have many projects in your city those days, but you have two uh, particular uh, small-scale actions you wanted to talk about today. Yes, uh, these are two different small-scale actions. The first one is the small-scale action that was already organized in September and the other one is planned to be implemented in May. Let's start with the one already organized. Okay, um, it's a small-scale action about the public uh, use of the public space. Uh, it's uh, about the public space of the big square, of the historical square in the very city center of our city because there is a huge parking place and the city is planning to revitalize this place for uh, for like centuries <laughs> no, for for a couple of years but there there has already been planned projects but they never you know they've been never realized and we decided to ask people uh, what they think we should do with that with that place and what would they like to have there so we organized this uh, event in September. It was uh, it started with a walk uh, on the uh, on the big square with the architect. It was about the history of the this public space, uh, of the use of it, and it was very interesting. It took like half an hour, and there was a great discussion about it. And after that, we asked people uh, to. Uh, write on the blank sheet uh, what they think, uh, what they would like to see on the big square in the future. That's why this small scale action was called mm -hmm. Big Square on the Blank Sheet, because they had an opportunity to use the blank sheet and write there anything they wish. And so, what's the main idea came up uh, with this? Well, the people, uh, most of people don't want par uh, parking cars in their city center, but it's a very big discussion and it will take a long time before some decision will came up. But they would like to have greenery in the city center, which is kind of uh, like half of people want more trees and half of people don't. And we uh, also had paper boxes on the square and we asked uh, little children to build their own square um, we wrote uh, on the boxes. We wrote which is, which one are trees and which one are uh, water fountains, or whatever. So it was pretty interesting. And with uh, the outputs of this uh, of survey and the workshop, mm -hmm. uh, we presented to our political representatives, and uh, it was very interesting. And we were very happy that they were willing to let us to allow us to organize this uh, kind of event because it's not very often in our city yeah that's a good step i think okay yeah uh, so what's the next action coming now uh this one is focused on the school children we've chosen three elementary schools uh, in the city and we want to uh, ask seven and eighth graders uh, to uh, you, to join a workshop and the, uh, their school um, to show us uh, their ideal public space either in the city or in the school surroundings uh, using the Lego kit because we think uh, it's more uh, it's better for the children to tell us what they think using using something they know and after that uh, we'd like to organize a competition for them uh, it's something um, as the participatory budget. They will uh, create their own projects. They will. Uh, the project will be about uh, the their school, about some improvements in their schools. For example, a couch or a mirror or anything. Just a small, small project. Uh, it can be also in the surroundings of the school. And uh, after that, they will present it to the children they will uh they and the other children will vote for the best project 
yeah. and we'll finance the uh, best project of the children to be implemented. That's really interesting and I think it's going to be well and I hope we go close for well, the next uh, step in this action. Thank you. Yeah.